another video on the T4 today. I'm going to be doing the inner CV boot, and how I'm going to start off is taking the M10 spline bolt out of the inside. Um, the way I'm going to do that is obviously use the M10 with a few extensions to bring it out to here, and then it's nice and easy to work with. Uh, I'm going to use because I've got vented discs on the front, I'm going to use a flathead screwdriver in here just to hold it, or you can put it in there, and then the caliper holds it from spinning. And then obviously you can move the disc round as you need to get to the other bolts. Uh, if you've got solid discs, you can still do it, but you'll have to put a couple of wheel bolts in and use a pry bar or some sort of bar to hold it still whilst you undo the other ones. Uh, if you're doing it on the floor, obviously it's going to be easier because you can wedge the bar against the floor. I'm on a ramp so I can't do that, I'd have to hold it. Once those bolts are out, I'm going to undo the two, I think these are M14 um, spline bits. So I'm going to undo those two out of the bottom ball joint, pull that out of the way, and then that will allow me to pull the actual, the whole hub towards me. And then last bit, I'll be undoing this bolt here which is a 27mm I believe and then once I've un undone that I've already taken the bolt out of the bottom shocker because I've just done the anti-roll bar bushes so you'll have to take the bottom bolt out of there as well and then you pull the hub out of the way, pull the drive shaft out of the back and I'm probably just going to time lapse that because I've sort of explained it to you so you can see me do it so I'm just going to correct myself before I start here uh, these bottom ones are M14s, 27mm on the end and then those ones up there are actually M12s, not M10s, like I said. So I've got my extensions, and I'm going to use an impact gun just to get the job done quicker. Right, so I've got the drive shaft off the van now, and what I'm going to start with is splitting this seam here. So this metal cap comes off of the actual CV joint. Um, as you can see, this this boot probably one of the originals, but it's all like splitting in there. So that's why this one's getting replaced. The other one has actually got a split in it. But I thought I'd do a pair, and then it's you know preventative maintenance. And then whilst I'm off, whilst they're off, I'm going to be repacking all the CV grease because you can see how dark and black it is, um, and it's starting to get a bit like tar. So I'm going to repack, you know, clean it all up, repack the grease, replace the CV boot. So I managed to split the CV boot away from the actual joint and now I've got to remove this circlip here to be able to take the joint off. As you can see they come with a metal casing on these so it's not like the stretch boots for the external ones where you can just use a CV boot tool. But yeah, so I've got to take this clip off and then knock the joint off very gently and then I can clean it up and re-grease it, put the new boot on and put it all back together.
you've got to be careful not to let it come out too far because then you've got to put the CV joint back together and it can be a bit of a pain sometimes. That's the old one off. Now I'm going to clean that up and put the new one on. I'm gonna have to I think I'm gonna have to use a flatted screwdriver just to push that lip back out. There we go, so that lip's back out now. And push it all the way to the bottom. And then when we put the new C V joint on, it won't be getting in the way. The only thing you've got to consider when you put the new joint on is these bolt holes need to line up. So there's the inner C V joint. I'm just gonna clean it up quickly off camera with some brake cleaner and rags. And then pack it with new CV grease. Right, so I've just finished cleaning up these parts with some brake cleaner and rags. And I'm going to show you how to put it back together. So, see how this has got a ridge? And then the opposite side of this has got a ridge. So, this is the gearbox side, this is the CV boot side. So, this ridge and this ridge want to be opposite way around. So, it'll sit like that once it's done. So, I'm going to start with putting this ridge down and this ridge up and then how I want to do it is get all these ball bearings I'll put the cage around that centre piece and I'll put all the ball bearings in this is the easiest way I've found so far and then pick it all up in one go now <clears throat> you see how it's got big bit, small bit, big bit, small bit it wants to be the opposite on this because when it's at full extent it'll line up so I'll put the big bit in line with the small bit like that and then without letting the centre bit drop put two fingers in the middle and pull it all the way up until it all drops into place right so that's dropped into place now I just need to pull it up a touch more and then it should all drop down just like that so that CV joint's back together now and I don't think it'll push out that way but it might push out the other way so you just got to be careful putting it back on so you don't actually let it drop apart so this side is the side that goes onto the drive shaft first this side goes against the gearbox so I'm going to be packing it with grease and then put it on the new CV boot goes around there and I've got to make sure the bolt holes line up properly uh, I think I'll pack some grease in this side first, put it on, and then pack the other side. Uh, I'm just going to pack this side with grease off camera. You can see there's a little bit already in there and it's already on the underside so I'm going to pack as much grease in here as I can um, without it being excessive and then it's going back on the van. Right I've got the drive shaft back in now and it's just reverse procedure so put the bolts back in there, bolt back in there and then fasten the bottom ball joint back on and then last but not least that bolt through the shocker uh, and then that's more or less done I think in the next video I'm going to be replacing these brake lines with braided lines so if there's anything else you'd like to see drop it in the comments thanks for watching